it was very clear that the war is not between Israel and Palestine. The war is between America and Palestine. Because Israel is a military base of America in the Middle East. This is the journey to One Africa. Comrades, we had a meeting with the people of Palestine through Hamas in the EFF, and they gave us a very clear account of what's happening. Women are being killed. Children are being killed. The hospitals that are still standing and have not been bombed have got no medication. Therefore, they don't even qualify to be called hospitals. Israel is engaged in ethical cleansing of the Palestinians. Under our watch, the world is doing nothing. The UN tried to pass a resolution on ceasefire to allow medication, food, water, to reach Gaza and all other parts of Palestine, the USA vetoed. And therefore, that resolution cannot be carried. But when the USA vetoed the resolution on ceasefire, it was very clear that the war is not between Israel and Palestine. The war is between America and Palestine. Because Israel is a military base of America in the Middle East. Therefore, when we demand the freedom of the people of Palestine, you must know that the real enemy is USA. And it must be made very clear that America is the one that is killing children. America's civilized democracy is the one that undermines the international law. America that is civilized is the one that is killing women in Palestine. Tomorrow, we will wake up with no single Palestinian. We'll read in history that they used to be Palestinians. And we'll be there to testify that it's true but the question will be, what have you done? As the EFF, we played our role and we play our role in solidarity with the people of Palestine. We said at the Israeli embassy when we were marching that McDonald's must issue a statement distancing itself from McDonald's of Israel, which was wrapping its food with the colors that reflect the Israeli flag. McDonald did that. We said to Woolworths, we are not like these gangsters of yours in the Western Cape. We said to Woolworths, we draw every product that comes from Israel. Therefore, we draw it. We said to Parliament, let's pass a resolution that says Israeli embassy must leave South Africa because we cannot share a territory with murderers who are committing genocide. That resolution of the EFF passed. So, fighters, we are not just talkers, talkers. They've been talking, these people, before the EFF came. This war of Palestine doesn't start now. It started long before, since 1945, before the EFF was formed. Only after the EFF was formed, South Africa begins to take a firm stand and on the side of the people of Palestine. No one can buy us. We are not bought by anyone. We must always be 
on the side of the weak. When you are walking on the streets and you find two people fighting and you want to separate them, the first thing you are going to do without talking as a normal human being, the first thing you are going to do is to look at who is the weakest and then you grab the strong one and remove the strong one from the weak. You don't go and grab the one who's on the floor. Uh -uh, you grab the one who's kicking this one who's on the floor. Because your instinct will always tell you, be on the side of the weak. That's what we need to do. Fighters, you say you are ground forces. You say you are leading the struggle for change on the ground. But one thing you need to know when you live here today is that there is no EFF without you. You are the epicenter of this revolution. You are the lifeblood of the EFF. And without you, there is no EFF in the Western Cape. And let me give you an example because I teach very easy. When you live here, if you can't pass this test, then I, I'm not the problem. You are the problem. If we come here into this church of uh, Reverend Mutala to have this meeting, and on my arrival, I find these people who are seated in front here only, the meeting of the EFF has failed because you were not there, but the leadership was there. So the leadership can be there. Without you, there is no EFF. That's why we have to make sure that you are the people who understand the EFF because you are the ears, you are the eyes, you are the mouth of the EFF. And therefore, we need to invest in you as a ground force because you are the ones who are going to lead us from the front.